Lovely Cousins here at Third Phase Moon. Welcome back, everybody, from around the world. we got two incredible videos that I want to share with you. Also, new leaked information coming out of Russia. Is the president going to tell us about the extraterrestrial existence, planet Nibiru? Stay tuned. Check out this video from the Netherlands. the raw video captured by Lexter uh, October 11, 2016, and he said this was captured right behind his house. He's never seen anything quite like this. He was quick enough to grab his camera and capture what you're looking at right now. I want to see if there's any other kind of videos from the Netherlands. I'm going to do some homework. Anybody out there, if you see anything like this that was captured over the Netherlands, we want to see it because uh, I got a feeling this is an incredible display of UFOs. That's why we're sharing it to you right now, third phase. When flares are dispersed in the air by military, they put off a glowing orange reddish halo around themselves. This is very white. It doesn't resemble any kind of flare that I'm aware of. And let me tell you, flares basically dissipate after a while and they uh, descend down to earth. Gravity pulls them down, but these things are staying stationary in the sky. You can see an airplane interacting with this. I wonder if they're uh, dispatched to view this phenomenon going on right now. I want to thank Lecker for sharing his video to us. We're going to supply the original links below so you can take a look at both his video captures on his channel. Now, let's go to Las Vegas. Something's falling out of the sky. What is it? Take a look. What is that? Now they just go, oh, there it is. Kiss that. All right, this is video captured by MJ23 News, and he has a YouTube channel, and he lives north of Las Vegas, Nevada, and he captured what looks to be like two UFOs streaking in the sky. Is it a crash landing or is it something that our government's not telling us? What is going on? Is this a meteorite, an asteroid in close proximity to planet Earth? What are we looking at here? Let's zoom things up. The quality is a little poor, unfortunately, but we get to make out what's going on over the skies of Nevada. Something very strange. Um, I don't know. Could it be two UFOs shot down, or is there some kind of uh, military exercise gone array? There's a lot of questions going on over uh, Nevada. This was captured October 7, 2016. There's so much activity in the month of October, and we're just, uh, we're not even halfway through. So we've had some videos that look very similar to this, and our U.S. government or governments from around the world sometimes claim responsibility. And uh, I got a feeling what they're telling us is that is not exactly what we're seeing in the video submitted to third phase of moon is this some kind of atlas rocket a chinese satellite 
crashing into our atmosphere. All these answers that we're being given, uh, in my opinion, is not the truth. What happened over Las Vegas? I'm sure there's a lot of people that captured this event. We want to see it. If you were in Nevada, October 7th, and he saw something strange in the night sky and he captured it on video. We want to see it right here at Third Phase Moon. We got to uh, thank the submitter from Vegas for uh, sharing this because, you know, there's always the first person that submits incredible uh, footage in regards to a big, big story like this happening over at North Las Vegas right now. So MJ23 News, thanks for the submission. And uh, we're going to give the original link below so you can check it out for yourself. Now let's get into the big talk right now coming out of Russia what's Putin up to next in a candid interview with Pravada Russian President Vladimir Putin stated that he would tell the world about Nibiru if Donald Trump loses the presidential election what what does a president of Russia know about Nibiru he probably knows more than uh, most governments and he's waiting for the decision of who's going to be the next president of the United States before he's going to uh, basically spill the beans on what he knows about the planet known as Nibiru. So, wow, hang on everybody because this is going to be a wild ride. The report continues that he'll refrain from making a decision until November 8th when the election results are uh, tallied. He promises not to make an announcement based solely on exit polls in the event of a Trump defeat. Putin plans immediately to disclose Nibiru on all television networks, including RT News. According to reliable sources, Putin has hidden broadcasting apparently from this secret fortress. Putin will act quickly and decisively before Clinton has the opportunity to launch an offensive that would forever scuttle his chances of uh, basically telling the world about this Nibiru cover-up. So, wow, this is, this is big news. This is big news if this is real. And this is a pretty much breaking news, so we're telling it as it's coming in. There's going to be a few more days as we kind of consume this information coming out of Russia. Is it legit? Is it the real deal? I got a feeling it might be because Putin is not telling us everything he knows. All right, this is coming in from Vladimir himself. He says, we have no doubt that Hillary Clinton is prepared to take any and all actions to prevent Nibiru disclosure. A source within the Kremlin said she may even try to drone strike President Putin. Now, this is getting kind of wild. I'm not saying this is real. This is just kind of news coming in. But they say they'll have to take all precautions to ensure President Putin's safety and guarantee that the world will know about this planet Nibiru. We still hope Trump wins and none of this becomes necessary coming in from the Kremlin. Wow, this is uh, incredible information. Leave your comments below on what you thought of the videos below and the breaking news coming out of Russia because I want to hear it. I want to hear your opinion, people. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in every day right here at Third Phase of Moon for uh, updates coming in from around the world. Stay tuned and have your cameras ready. Blake Cousins, keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. We're not alone.